Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Cardone Solutions Podcast. I'm your host of the Cardone Solutions Podcast. Uh, my name is David Bradley, training facilitator and coach with Grant Cardone. I am bringing you weekly sales solutions, tips, strategies, and attitude adjustments from the 10x world of Grant Cardone. Listen, over here at Cardone Training Technologies, 80% at least of what we do here is 100% free. So the purpose of the podcast is to make sure that the free stuff we're putting down, you are picking up and plugging it into your sales and your business and your life. So thank you so much. Thank you in advance for clicking that subscribe button. And if you're getting some value from this, make sure that you're sharing this out into the cyberspace so that other folks can be benefit benefiting. A dark that's scrabble, wouldn't you? Benefiting. Make sure to share this out in the cyberspace so that other folks are benefiting from it too. Okay. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the three signs of a professional. But before we get into that, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Speaking of sponsors, speaking of professionals, today's episode is brought to you by Grant Cardone's coaching program within Cardone University. Okay. So check it out for just a second. Um, 84% of managers are too busy to train and develop their team the way they wish they could. Also, most managers became managers because they could produce, not because nor were they ever actually trained on how to motivate salespeople and transfer skill. Last but not least, there's an 88% improvement in production and productivity when coaching and training gets involved. So, This is where we come in. Literally, we become a virtual extension of your management team. This is the Cardone University coaching program. Here's what you're going to get. Complete access to Cardone University. Over 30 plus managed learning courses facilitated by a certified Cardone coach like hmm, me. Okay. Also, you get to have us at a fraction of the cost is what it would take to hire somebody in-house. We're going to work with you directly to increase sales volume and profitability while reducing extraneous costs, ergo turnover, and helping you expand market share. All this for a fraction as to what it would cost to bring somebody in-house to do this. So, for a complimentary sales process analysis and training proposal, visit cardonesolutions.com forward slash coaching. That's cardonesolutions.com forward slash coaching. One more time, cardonesolutions.com forward slash coaching. Now, on with the show. Three signs of a professional. So how do you know if you're dealing with a professional anything? Salesperson, marketer, business owner, athlete, I mean any anything, really, right? There are three key signs, professional actor, one more, three key signs of a professional. And if you are looking to level up and raise your own bar, you need to also raise your awareness of the three things I'm about to share with you and make sure that you are exhibiting these behaviors in your own life. Time to call yourself out, okay? Do you focus on results and not effort? Are you willing to persist and insist in the close? And do you invest in networking, community, and building relationships? Them the three. Sorry. Was that too fast? Okay, let's break them down. We're going to go over each one of these in depth, and we'll see what we can do about it. What actions can we take to level ourselves up in these three areas? One, focus on results and not effort. So everything that we do or don't do produces a result. And it's the results that will or won't Be the thing that gets food on the table, roof over the head, clothes on the back. It's also the results that will or won't pay for that vacation, retirement, daughter's wedding, medical bills, and insurance. The the ones that insurance turns out they don't cover after all. Those, you know, I've had those. Have you had those? Yeah, okay. So, uh, uniforms for the kids' sports team, the new roof for the church. You cannot tell the landlord or the mortgage company. Hey, I tried really hard. Unfortunately, the game of life, the game of real life, that is, 
is not giving out participation trophies. Actually, they do. It's called the headstone. What results will you produce today? Are you productive today? We're just busy. How was your day? Busy, man. Did you produce anything? Okay. I want to encourage you to start putting real pressure on yourself. Remember, pressure makes diamonds. So start pushing, putting pressure on yourself every day to look at the results you produced at the end of the day. And when you are results driven, people will know that they are dealing with a professional. And you will know if the person you're dealing with is a professional. Second thing, are you willing to persist and insist in the close? Are you willing and more importantly, able to persist and insist in the close? And if not, why not? The professional ties their purpose to the close. So, if you remember what Grant says in the Close of Survival Guide, the close represents 20% of our time and 100% of our money. Which means, if we're not focused on the result and connected to purpose, or if we are, rewind, this means that if we are focused on the result and connected to purpose, we will be willing to persist and insist in the close. That's better. Next up, though, is do you have the ammunition? You got the staying power. Do you have it? Can you stay in there long enough to get the deal done? And are you well-practiced and rehearsed? The mark of a true professional is one who practices, drills, and rehearses. Earlier, I mentioned professional actor. So not only is a professional actor focused on the results and not the effort, not only are they, do they practice, drill, and rehearse, but the ones that get the work are the ones that are willing to persist and insist in the close. And the close would be what, in that case? Them getting the job. The actors that wait around for something to happen are the ones that usually wind up being extras. Just something to think with. You want to be a background player or you want to be in front of the camera? Analogy. Okay, now, invest in networking, community, and building relationships. That's the third one. Third mark of a professional. Which is a nice little transition, right, segue, if you will. Okay, People who wait for something to happen, they're amateurs. Sorry. People who make something happen, that's a professional. Professionals also know that the, the solution to all problems in sales is a full pipeline. And the, that the biggest problem, the biggest problem for any business and a professional is obscurity. So if we go 3.1 on that one, right? A professional recognizes that they're a business within a business and they run their business sales like that. Follow? Okay, great. So a professional will invest time, money, and energy into getting known, into marketing, and branding. Branding what? Marketing what? Getting what known? Them. Themselves. That they're the expert in that space. That they're the go-to person in that space. That they're the best person for this particular gig, job. Okay? You must get known and, and, and build relation. You got to get known before you can build a relationship, right? And then as Grant tells us in the book, if you're not first, you're last. The difference between a contact and a contract is the letter R. And the letter R stands for relationship. So in what ways are you networking? Are you getting into the community? Are you building relationships with people? Okay. Which leads us to the big question. Are you a pro? Or are you an amateur? Okay. Based on these three indicators right now, here's your action idea. Here's your homework. Okay. How would you rate yourself as a professional? And then more importantly, what are you going to do about it? What actions will you take this week 
to raise your level of professionalism. And look, you owe this to yourself. This is, don't do this for me. Do this for you. Okay, do it for your family, your coworkers. They're depending on you right now to be a professional. Your community is depending on you to be a professional right now. Okay, they're all the, the entire. We're, we are all depending on you to focus on results and not effort. You, we're depending on you to be willing to persist and insist in the close, and we're depending on you to invest time, money and energy into networking, community, and building relationships. Now, if you need help with these three things, we, thank God, we got a solution. Head on over to cardonesolutions.com forward slash 10x your income. That's cardonesolutions.com forward slash 10x your income. cardonesolutions.com forward slash 10x your income for training on how to network, how to get involved in the community, how to build relationships, how to persist and insist in the close, and how to stay focused on results and not just that. So, cardonsolutions.com forward slash 10x your income for more on that. And this has been another exciting episode of the Cardone Solutions Podcast. I'm your host, David Bradley. Thank you so much for listening. Go out there and be a professional this week. And in the words of Grant Cardone, tops it off quite nicely. Be great, because nothing else pays. See you soon.